All right, we made it to Corpus Christi. Although downtown's on the other side of the bridge there. I'm gonna be getting lunch here in North Beach. I think it's gonna be, it's, it's from my, from what my cousin told me, it's near the Radisson, so I'm gonna go look for the restaurant. So yeah, definitely stay tuned to the Trial of the Lights video. Oh, the thing is right there. All right, we're here on the on the beach here. I just had lunch. Definitely check out that Channel of the Lights video of Blackbeard's. Really good food. So, there's the USS Lexington. I've seen the ship before when I've come down to Corpus Christi, but I've not boarded it before. So that'd be, be really cool to, to do that while we're here. And if you watched my Trail of the Lights video, I introduced her already, but it's a different video. So here's my cousin, Kristen, who- Hi everyone. <laughs> it's windy down here in Corpus. It's about a week away from spring break. So it's uh, not quite too populated, but this whole area is gonna be with spring breakers next week oh yeah that's kind of one of the reasons why i came down now so that way i i can avoid all of that <laughs> but yeah this should be pretty exciting so we're gonna get ready to board shortly Well, we just pay for our tickets and oh, oh this is cool let me get around them a little history about the lexington yeah, first commission 1943 so yeah it was definitely used in the second world war let's zoom in a little bit Say when it was commissioned, yeah, she fought in every major campaign from Tarawa to Tokyo. And yep, remember hearing about it, yeah, the, the, the Lex's nickname is the Blue Ghost because the Japanese thought that they sunk it like five times, but well, they found out it never was sunk. <laughs> But then after the war, it was yeah, decommissioned in 1947. And then yeah, it looks like they recommissioned again in the mid 50s and then decommissioned for the final time in 1991. And then it's been here since the early 90s. All right, she, she, she's been bad today, so we're we're, we're locking her up. <laughs> All right, we're on the flight deck right now. Look at all the planes they have out here. And here we have a, a, a guy named Bob. He's saying hi to, to us right now. 
You probably think I'm totally crazy right now. I'm there with you. Hmm, yeah, this is the arresting gear. Alright, oh, gotta say that was really cool. Kind of next we're gonna head back that way. So here on this tour, yeah, this is the Pearl Harbor exhibit. It goes into more of the history behind the day, which still is in infamy today. And yeah, right here is, here's the commander stay room. Oh yeah, this is the captain's cabin. I guess this looks pretty cool. Hi, welcome to my in-port cabin. <laughs> We're just sitting down for dinner. As the captain, I don't get to spend much time down here when the ship's underway. I'm required to be on the bridge or spend time in my at sea. Uh, can you pass me the potatoes, so please? The in the meantime, please enjoy the rest of your tour on board USS Lexington and thank you for visiting. Well, it's nice and all, but where are my potatoes? Oh, I just over here. Excuse me. Oh, that cell looks good. Can you give me some of that, please? All right, so here's the here's the little barber shop here on the ship, and I think I need a little bit of a haircut. Yes, I got one, but I need another one. I think he can help me out. The following video will, will contain some very delicious food, so you may not want to watch on an empty stomach. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, there's where the potatoes are. Well, I gotta say that was that was really cool. Uh, if you're here in Corpus Christi, you definitely have to have to check out the the, the USS Lexington. Lots of cool exhibits. You can spend hours here easily. All right, time for us to head out. Man, yeah, look at this. We got a huge ship being tugged into the into the harbor. Hey, we're back out on the breeze, and I'll say this again, that ship was awesome. <laughs> yeah, my, my grandfather's been here a couple times, I think I think about 20 years ago. Yeah, he absolutely loved the, loved the ship, too. Yeah, it looks like it's a little choppier than it was earlier. Oh, gotcha. Alright, I'm 
back in the car and it's starting to rain a little bit. It's like the weather forecast, I don't think it was as good as up in Houston today. But I figure before I start making the, the trip back up to Houston, I'm going to go into downtown Corpus Christi and then maybe drive along the shoreline a little bit. This bridge goes up uh, quite high. It's, as, you, as what we saw when we were leaving the Lexington, that huge ship that was coming through, it's like they have to build this up high enough so, so some of these big ships can easily make it into the channel off to the right. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but up to the right, that's Whataburger Field for the minor league baseball team, the Corpus Christi Hooks play. I remember going to some games with with my aunt and uncle there. Because as you can tell, it's not that far from Rock from, from Rockport. Yeah, one cool fact about Corpus Christi is that the that the that the burger chain Whataburger, it's I believe it started out in Corpus Christi, but it's headquartered now in San Antonio. downtown area unfortunately I'm probably not gonna get out because it is raining right now oh, I should probably go over because he's gonna be he might be waiting longer than I will be but yeah I'm not gonna do a full driving tour or anything like that because I'm sure this vlog is getting a little long already who knows I might even have to split up some things but we'll wait and see Now we're driving somewhat along the water. We can see yeah, downtown Corpus Christi off to the left, all the way over there. We have this road will take us all the way back over to where I-37 comes out, and then from there I can get back on uh, 35 and. I won't be going back through Rockport to head back up to Houston. I'll be going through uh, Referio. And hopefully it might be drier as we head north out of this area. what's called the Selena statue. Uh, that was the uh, the famous uh, Tejano 
singer who unfortunately was killed back in 1995 and there was a movie about her play where Jennifer Lopez played Selena. And yep, and you can see the Lexington off in the distance. Just think of that. Go to the freeway. I'm supposed to go back over there, but I can easily go back. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to get ready to head out of Corpus Christi. Definitely great to come back. Yep, now we're heading back, back over, and yeah, I definitely will say that it was. Really great getting to see Kristen down here, even though it was just for a little bit. But yeah, I've seen a lot of family on this trip down to Houston, mostly Houston and a little bit of Cor Corpus Christi and Rockport. Okay, I got to spend the entire weekend with my Aunt Kelly and then my my grandma on my, on my dad's side of the family and then also my cousin James and then getting lunch with my cousin Jack. So that was cool. But yeah, this trip is already getting ready to come to a close because I'm going to be flying back home to Michigan tomorrow out of Intercontinental Airport up in Houston. Alright, let's start making the trip back. I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm, I'm out here in Hilji, kind of halfway, halfway between Victoria and Houston, so i going to stop in over here, get some beef jerky, and get some for the road. Yep, had to get some beef jerky and a couple of and a sausage piece, so yeah, pretty cool in here. All right, so I'm gonna eat a couple things in the car really quick and then get back on the highway. All right, so I got a, a couple things. I got a, a, a link, of, it's the dry venison and pork midget with jalapeno, and then the bison jerky pepper. So that's what these two pieces are. So I'm gonna try one of each really quick. Mmm. It's good stuff. But yeah, I didn't get a whole lot because I want to stop at a Whataburger for dinner and just, just to get a burger. Like, this is kind of like the replacement for my french fries. Mmm. Mmm. So good. This one has a little bit of a kick. This, the spice and pepper, yeah, or the spice and jerky pepper, this one has a kick to it. But it's delicious though. But yeah, a lot of our trips between Rockport and Houston in the past, this is one place we always like, like to stop at to get some jerky. And it's still good today. All right, time to get back on the road. All right, time for a little dinner. It's stopping in at Rosenberg and decided to get a Texas classic, Whataburger. Yeah, since I had that jerky, as I figured, I'd just get just get the burger. Say, so just get a classic water burger. Not bad. Oh, 
gonna say, I guess it's, it's pretty good. I gotta eat a little healthier when I, once I get back home, though. Yeah, that was good. I like I like that burger. All right, now we need to get now we need to get to the hotel in Sugarland. Shouldn't have too much further to go. All right, made it to Sugarland, and yep, 59 is just right there. And guess where I'm staying? A Spring Hill Suites. Probably the third hotel in a row I've stayed at, which is a Spring Hill Suites. This one looks really new, so I'll be curious what this one's like. All right, we made it to the hotel, and this looks very similar to what I stayed at the first night of the trip at or near Intercontinental Airport. Got the desk, got the TV, and king-size bed. Got the air conditioner, and it looks like yeah, with my windows, yeah, I could see right out at, I think that's 59, or, yeah, yeah, that's 59. And then the bathroom, yeah, I, I turned the light on already. Got a shower, and this looks to be a lot more friendly than what I had that other hotel. And the toilet and the Scott Man. <laughs> but yeah, had a great time today down in Corpus Christi and also in Rockport. A special thanks to Kristen for making an appearance in the video and also for getting to hang out with her for a few hours. And I'm gonna get a good night's sleep and uh, gotta head to the airport tomorrow. Although I might do a little quick drive around on my way to the airport. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Skyman 95 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. Well, thank you for watching today's travel vlog to Corpus Christi and Rockport, Texas. And this is Scott signing out.